Local High and Intermediate School has served generations of students for over a hundred years, establishing a long and proud tradition of academic, artistic, and athletic excellence. With this legacy in mind, the school implemented the Smaller Learning Communities program in 2006. Since then, the faculty and staff have been working together to put into practice some of its guiding principles, which include teacher collaboration and reflection. In every grade, from 7th to 10th, students are divided into three houses, sharing the same team of core teachers, math, social studies, language arts, and science. Each faculty team shares the same students as well as a common preparation period every day to further personalize learning experiences for students, teacher collaboration, and interdisciplinary instruction. What did I learn through this Smaller Learning Community Program was that it is vital that we collaborate, that we are on the same page, um, thinking about our students, seeing how we can help them, not just in math, in science, in English, how we can help them as a whole. And since our class schedules are in Hollis, we have the same people in every one of our core classes, so it was really fun and it, was, it made it more comfortable just to be around everyone. One of the products of this collaborative effort involves a project at the James Campbell National Wildlife Refuge. Established in 1976, this 165-acre refuge is the largest of its kind on the island of Oahu. Located in Kahuku, the refuge is home for endangered waterbird species such as the Hawaiian stilt. During the planning process, the faculty team met extensively to discuss all aspects of the joint project. Each of the subjects is going to do something um, to prepare the students for that field trip that ties in with their curriculum and with, with what they're learning in that subject. So, you know, for biology, we're going to be doing, looking at the species and looking at, um, you know, the food chain of the area, what eats what and what goes on. For history, um, what we're going to start off doing is looking at this area, making it relevant to them. This is their, their home where they're from. Just um, touch on ancient Hawaiian legends and mythology. Another thing too that we all have to do is create our own rubrics for we're going to be grading them all. We could say to you get half your credit for the English, like the grammar and stuff, and you could give them that half the points. And you get the other half for like scientific accuracy if they're writing about invasive species and I could grade that stuff. And I think somewhere along the line that we need is is like a reflection so the kids can, we can get feedback, how was, how we can make them better, mm -hmm. their experience, because being our first time, I mean, we probably want to make this either bigger, See whether it better, was worth whatever. Yeah. Maybe afterwards we could have some kind of, you know, some kind of analysis they could do of it or they could write what they thought. Or. Each teacher emphasized topics and assignments relevant to his or her content area standard. While the history class focused on local legends, the biology teacher focused on the dissecting of invasive species such as bullfrogs, while the math teacher taught how to analyze the global positioning system latitude and longitude coordinates. The English teacher taught the importance of writing about nature. After all preparations were made, it was time for the field trip. Okay, this is called the key unit of the James Campbell National Wildlife Refuge. And this is one of 19 in the Pacific, including Guam and around. More interesting, huh? Yeah. So welcome. And this is set aside for endangered water birds. Today we have the students out here from Kahuku High doing bullfrog dissections. And what we're looking at is we found through a study we did with a grad student from the University of Hawaii that bullfrogs are a primary predator on the Hawaiian stilt, which is an endangered species that we're responsible for. We're dissecting and measuring the frogs and seeing if they have bacteria or what they eat and see if they eat the Hawaiian stilt. Oh, we haven't really found any chicks in the stomachs. We just mostly found like crayfish, like shrimp and stuff like that. That's about it. Sometimes I opened one that didn't have anything at all in it. From my perspective, why this field trip was good for the students is because they got to see the four content areas in one place and at the same time. Well, this field trip was different from other field trips because when you go to another field trip, all you see is sort of a fun activity, but this one was an educational and a fun one at the same time and it was able, all the teachers were able to input a little bit of um, their teaching into the field trip. I would love to go on a field trip like this again where all our teachers plan it because it's not an everyday thing that all your teachers come together and take their time out to plan a field trip for everyone. It opened my eyes to a new way 
really of teaching and a positive way for the kids. So all hail, you know, to the collaborative effort across the disciplines. Well, what do I have to say about teacher collaboration? It's a must. Um, it is a need for the success of whatever you're going to do so that we are all on the same page and the students know what to expect and therefore they have a memorable and enjoyable experience. I think it's great that there are four different teachers with four different subjects that are working together on this project because everything is interrelated. Uh, it's, you know, everybody talks about the web of life, but that's true. And so even if it's math or biology and, you know, literature, it all works together. And I, if this program can keep going, that would be great. The implementation of the Smaller Learning Communities program at Kahuku High and Intermediate School has been a success. Not only students, but also faculty and the community are benefiting from the advantages of its guiding principles, namely teacher collaboration. The James Campbell National Wildlife Refuge Project is just one of the many projects to be undertaken in the years to come. Aloha. Aloha.